Good day. Today, we're going to learn how to make a coat of arms uh, that represents you and your family. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is on Moodle, we're going to download the blank uh, shield. Okay, so you're going to click, you're going to go to an HACS online, you're going to download, it's called blank shield. Please open that up and GIMP that. Okay, so this is what you should have. Okay, so this is not a very exciting shield yet. Well, we're going to add some cool stuff. We're going to make it nice. Okay, what you have to do then is you need to think of uh, some different symbols, okay, for, for you and your family. All right. Now, easy way to do this is think of like an animal that might represent you or your family. For some people, it might be a bear. Other people, it might be a tiger, something like that. I'm going to go with a ram because I'm a Rams fan. So then what I'll do is, and I've done part of this already, I found this picture of uh, this ram on a Google image search. So what I did is I took my, my um, lasso tool, okay, we all know that, our lasso tool, and I just went around and I selected out the ram, okay? So that's what I did. You're going to have to do that, go on Google image search, Download a picture that you think of an animal that represents you. Trace it out using your lasso tool. Then what you'll do is do an edit copy. Then go back to your shield. Do an edit paste as new layer. Paste to edit paste as new layer. It's going to bring her up like that. Center, center it. And then I want to make this bigger. So I'm going to go ahead use my scale tool and make her bigger okay keep on getting that, let's get that centered back up now here's what you're gonna do uh, I wanna make this on this black, we've got our shields, our black background I wanna uh, make this ram just to be one color to do that I'm gonna go ahead to image or excuse me, layer transparency, alpha to selection. It's going to add the ants around that. What I'll do then is double click on your paint bucket tool where it says here affected area. It's initially going to have fill similar colors. Make sure fill whole selection is selected. Then what you'll do is pick the color you want. I'm going to make my ram be green. Green ram. Yes. Excellent. Let's say a dark green ram. There we go. So, click on OK. There we go. So I got that on there. I'm going to do a select none now. And I'm, I like how that came out. I'm going to actually blur a little bit. So I'm going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to go with the initial just 5 and 5 just to blur that up. That looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Uh, another thing you're going to do. Uh, you're going to need at least three symbols. At least three. I'm just looking to do two in this. Okay. So my other symbol, I decided to go with uh, a gear. Okay. A gear. Again, what I did is I had to select that gear out using uh, my lasso tool. Or in this case, I actually used the magic wand uh, selector, but that's besides the point. What I'll do is then... After you've got it, your second symbol selected, edit copy, okay, and I want to paste this as a new layer. I'm going to do a few of these, okay, so you can see that's way too big. That's all right. We're cool. We're cool. Um, I'm going to do a layer, or excuse me, yeah, layer transparency, alpha to selection. I'm going to color this in. Let's see. What color do I want this? You know what? I want these to be... So I want them green as well. Hmm. Now let's go blue. Let's go blue. No, no, no. Let's go with that green color too. Okay, so then what we do is make sure it's the whole selection. I'm also I'm gonna shrink these down. Whoops. Select none. Let's also blur that. Filters Gaussian blur. Five and five. Shrink that down. I'm going to then move it. I'm going to put these in the corner. A little bit smaller. Uh, 
Okay. Move that over a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that layer. So remember, I just went to my layers menu. I just clicked on the duplicate button. I'm just going to put those like just kind of like that, just so they're in the corner. Now you notice now I'm just going to move my RAM over a little bit. And let's put like one more. Let's put one more gear at the very bottom. Okay. Now, this is kind of neat. What we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to add some stripes across this thing. Okay. So to do that, uh, it's pretty easy. I'm going to make a new layer. Okay, I'm going to make sure this layer is above my shield, but below everything else. So then I'm going to go to my, my paintbrush. Okay, I'm going to select, for this case, I'm going to make sort of a white, some white stripes. Okay, so I'm going to select white then uh, for my color. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, for, for my brush options, I'm going to move the scale up to 10. Okay, and I'm also gonna. I, I'm there's different brushes I could use, but I like this uh, these calligraphic <laughs> calligraphic uh, uh, brushes. That they they kind of do the job pretty nicely. So I set my scale up to ten. I change the brush kind. Okay, I also set my color to white. Now watch this. Now to do this, I'm gonna put let's see, like one, two, three stripes. I think. Okay, to do this, what you have to do is you first Let's just start my click here. So you can see how it's like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press my shift button. You see how you get this line then, like that. All right? See how that? What, I'll, what it could do is wherever I click a second time, it'll continue that paintbrush over. And if I also press my control button, it stays, it's a perfectly straight line. So I'm going to go ahead, whoops. Went a little bit too far there. I'm going to go ahead and just take it like that. Whoops. There we go. So I'm going to add three stripes. And this is just really simple stuff. You can do yours however you'd like. This is just one example. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of add a box at the bottom that just says like the Fleming family crest. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add a box here. So what I'll do is I'll go to my, in this case, it's going to be not our lasso tool, not our ellipse tool, but our sort of rectangle select. So it's just right there. So I'll double click there. I'm going to put a box right we'll say here so I click and drag and then I'm gonna add a new layer I'm gonna put this layer on the very top I'm just gonna call this layer you don't have to name it I'm gonna name mine I'm just gonna call it text well actually uh, text box there we go so then what I do then is I'm gonna put a, a just a mm, let's see a, uh, a black sort of fill in there. So let's go ahead here, add a black box there. And then I'm going to add some text. Color, the text is going to be white. All right, and then I'm going to add this text here. So I'm going to put Fleming Family Crest. How about we'll say coat of arms, excuse me. All right, so I'm not done with that. Let's move that up. Okay, so. You can see I want to move that just over a little bit more. And there we go. So that is the Fleming family coat of arms. Uh, I've got gears, a ram, some stripes. It's pretty nice. Uh, this is just one example of what uh, you can do. Uh, I look forward to your creativity. Okay, so make a great project. Good luck.